Away they go for the Independence Cup and uh, missing the kick by about three lengths in the start. That was Simran's choice. But as they sort themselves out, Emperada shows the way in the early stages. Barbara Lent in front of Venezia, quickly in second place. A length and a half away. There we go back to uh, uh, horses. There is uh, Rustler. Another length, I beg your pardon. There is a Sniper. Not too far away. Sniper there is on the outside is Claymore. A length away on the inside is Capo de Capi. Not too far away. Capo de Capi. There we go back to uh, Rustler. Another length away. There is Vice Admiral. A length away. Vice Admiral. There comes Simran's choice. Second last is Marbella. Last of all is Spark eyes as they pass the 800 meter marker back to the leader as they approach the 600 meter marker Emperada the leader Barbara half a length in front of uh, Venezia is the one on the outside not too far away on the outside of Venezia uh, there is a uh, sniper another length away there is Claymore on the outside taking the turn five horses wide is Portus on the inside as Capo de Capi as the heads turn firm round the turn into the straight Emperada comes in and first being joined on the outside there by Venezia another length and a half two lengths away there comes sniper with Capo de Capi Marbella is looking for room on the inside but it's a Venezia who comes and takes it up from Emperada. Then comes a sniper on the outside, on the in the center is a Capo de Capi. But when they're out to line, Venezia, there are two and a half, three lengths in front of sniper. Then comes Vice Admiral. But it's all Venezia, Western aristocrat out of Victoria, wins the Independence Cup from Vice Admiral. Then came Marbella, then came sniper. Further away was a Capo de Capi. Then came Simran's choice, and we'll wait for the official numbers.